Thank you. Uh, the public auction at the Sapere collection was held in Murska Sobota in the second half of the year 1930, drawing many art collectors from home and abroad. Members of Zagreb's Association of Friends of the Strossmer Gallery, whose primary task was to enrich the holdings of the still most significant museum institution in Croatia for collecting and researching old masters of European painting schools, raised lively interest for the auction in many museum institutions in Zagreb, which led to the organization of a joint excursion to Morska Sobota. Association's participation at that auction was purely platonic. However, the minutes clearly shows how much attention was being paid to Slovenian auctions by both individuals and institutions in Zagreb. The most distinguished representatives of the Association of Friends of the Strossmayer Gallery also had significant private collections of their own. An example is the collection of, of the association's treasurer, Erwin Weiss, the collection of board members, Artur and Milan Maric, and the one of Robert Deutsch Macelski. This presentation will use examples from these private collections to illustrate the overall fate of Jewish collections during and after the Second World War in Zagreb. The mid-war period also sees them as interested parties at auctions held in Slovenia, whether directly or through an agent. Several paintings from the former collection of industrialist Robert Deutsch Matejski are proven to have Slovenian origin. origins. Four portraits of rulers recorded in a photograph of the interior of Robert Deutsch Matejski apartment once formed a series of portraits of Habsburg rulers that hang in the Bukovia castle near Dravograd, whose inventory was sold during the year 1932. A photograph taken by Frances Tele, Vesna told us yesterday about this distinguished Slovenian art historian, who had photographed the castles in Medellin, as well as the list of artworks testified to these findings. Robert Deutsch Macejski's collection also contained the painting Christ Giving Blessings from the castle Gornia Radgona, whose inventory was sold during the year 1929. Uh, Industrialist Eric Weiss was very well acquainted with the art markets in larger neighboring centers. Apart from the auctions at Murska Sobota and Castle Bukovia near Dravograd, he primarily made significant acquisitions in Vienna. His name appears in the so-called Protocolary Catalogues of Vienna's Auction House, Auktionshaus für Alte Tümer Glückselig, as well as in the Protocolary Catalogues of the Auctions House, Alfred Wabra. Vienna's art market is also the source of the most significant old master paintings from Weiss collection. Weiss purchased the painting Portrait of a Woman with a Lap Dog in the year 1925 from the Auction House Glückselig at the sale of the collection of Berlin's textile factory owner, Jacques Musa. He acquired a painting harbor in Holland in the year 1927 at the auction of the estate of Victor and Helena Mautner Markov, descendants of the distinguished family of viewers from the Czech Republic. Weiss probably purchased the painting Holy Family with Saints Elizabeth and John the Baptist originating from the Fürsten von und zu Liechtenstein collection in Vienna, from the same auction house. The painting was sold to the auction house Glückselig in the year 1922, but it does not appear in Glückselig's auction catalogues, which must mean that it was offered for sale directly in the company's action, auction salon. Although the formation process of Arthur and Milan Maris collection still needs to be researched, it is known that they contained artworks from Slovenian castles. Milan Maric owned two portraits that used to belong to the Straum family collection from the Staraloka castle. The Maric brothers lived in the elite part of Zagreb, Milan in Villa on Tuštanac and Artur in Villa on Josipovac. The brothers also influenced the urban space of Zagreb's lower town by building six-story structure with a store-lined passage. Preserved photographs testify to the great collecting efforts that the two brothers took to form their individual art collections.
<coughs> Their collections were among the first to undergo measures for the protection of cultural heritage after the foundation of the independent state of Croatia. Namely, as early as May 1941, the provision of the prohibition of removal and exporting ancient artistic, cultural, historical, and natural monuments from the territory of the independent state of Croatia was passed. Apart from banning export, all national government and religious institutions were encouraged to safeguard their ancient artworks, cultural, historical, and natural monuments. The same pertained to private persons and all their artworks, even those that have a specifically familial and personal character. If any institution or private person could not properly care for an artwork, they were obliged to submit them to one of Croatia's national museums. On the basis of this provision, the Conservation Institute passed a decree according to which all objects of artistic, cultural, historical, and natural value that are currently in personal ownership must be inspected, catalogued, and in case of their improper protection, transferred to a suitable institution. In line with this decree, the Institute published a warning to owners of antiques, in which owners of antiques are warned not to avoid a cataloging process, but to cooperate with the Institute's representatives and facilitate their assignment. The real purpose of the cataloging process, apart from gaining insight into private property, was to remove the owners of the artworks so that they could be surrendered into the care of state museums, that is, into the holdings of the Museum of Arts and Crafts in Zagreb. The same decrees were used as a legal base for seizing artworks from Jewish owners. Therefore, it is not surprising that the Conservation Institute requested a police agent from the police directorate in case an owner should, and I quote, elude and procrastinate the cataloging process through various excuses, end of quote. Representatives of the Conservation Institute and the Museum of Arts and Crafts began cataloging artworks in Jewish private art collections during the months of May and June of 1941, as is confirmed in an array of documents kept in the archives of the Ministry of Culture. During this process, art objects and other sources claimed that he committed suicide. His villa was commandeered, with its most valuable artworks transferred to the Museum of Arts and Crafts. This is documented in Morgan's report and in the form for the mandatory registration of Jewish property. The most valuable artworks from the collection of Arthur Marich are still part of the holdings of the Museum of Arts and Crafts, where they are on permanent display. Soon after the war broke out, Milan Marich managed to escape Yugoslavia, finding refugee at the Turkish consul in Istanbul. While the Murphy's report was being written, the collection of Milan Marich was still housed in his villa in Tushkanats, which was held by the municipality and steps were taken to transfer it to the holdings of the Museum of Arts and Crafts. The art collection of Milan Maric was transferred soon after the report was written, while most of the artworks from the collection of Milan Maric are still part of the holdings of the Museum of Arts and Crafts. During the Second World War, the museum, this museum functioned as a gathering center for artworks whose transfer, whether voluntary or not, was to be organized following the establishment of the independent state of Croatia. A reconstruction of the arrival of certain Jewish collections to the Museum of Arts and Crafts during the Second World War is challenging, since the museum's archive documents on storage are closed for research. However, inquiries into the documentation from the Ministry of Education of the Independent State of Croatia and the Ministry of the Treasury, the Office for Nationalized Property, the so-called PONOVA, have revealed a clearer picture of the systematic implementation and visualization methods of nationalized artworks. It is important to emphasize that the cataloging process of art objects found in Zagreb's apartment started even before the statutory provision regarding compulsory reporting of Jewish property and enterprises was passed on July 5, 1941. Despite thorough categorization of sections within the form for the mandatory registration of property, the location for registering artworks was not planned. Therefore, they were registered under the number 11, furniture, foodstuffs, clothing, and other household assets, only in rare cases. Thus, the owners of private art collections inserted separate sheets of paper that add information about the cataloging process of artworks or about the end of the process and the placing of the collection into the hands of the Conservation Institute. 
For certain cases, we have preserved lists of art objects and evidence of their transfer into the holdings of the museum. The collection of Erwin Weiss, who converted to Catholicism in 1925 when marrying Branka Huth, did not see the fate of most Jewish collections that were stored in the Museum of Arts and Crafts soon after being catalogued. While filling out the property form, Branka Weiss entered the collection under her name, enclosing the evaluation of Vladimir Kaltic, director of the Museum of Arts and Crafts, of the great value of all objects in her apartment, which is presented as a unified whole, recommending that all objects be kept in the apartment in Boskovicheva Street. The collection remained at that address at least until of July 1943. Documentation from the Ministry of Education reveals the fate of the collection of Robert Deutsch Matzelski, which was in, in its entirety handed over to the Museum of Arts and Crafts in 1942 after the coercive displacement from his apartment. Robert Deutsch Matzelski and his wife Hilda was deported and killed in Auschwitz in 1943. After the Second World War and with the establishment of the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia, new transfers of owners and of ownership of artworks as well as their redistribution were, were realized through the application of various mechanisms of, this, of the misappropriation of private ownership. On the basis of the decree on the transfer into state ownership of enemy assets, the state administration of property belonging to absent persons and the sequestering of property taken by force by occupying, occupying governments the act on gathering, preserving, and distribution of books and other cultural, educational, and art objects was passed in May 1945, enabling the extraction of objects of artistic value from the pool of nationalized assets and their placement under jurisdiction of the Ministry of Education. This led to the founding of COMSA, Commission for the Gathering and Protection of Cultural Monuments and Antiquities. Apart from redistributing previously seized Jewish assets found in the Museum of Arts and Crafts, it singled out objects of artistic character from property seized after the war. The isolation of those objects that Komsa would rate as artistic was followed by their distribution to museum institutions according to their type and kind. Portraits would be transferred to the Croatian History Museum, Old Master Painting to the Strossmayer Gallery, modern and contemporary paintings and sculptures to the Modern Gallery, and Arts and Crafts to the Museum of Arts and Crafts. The difficulties in today's reconstruction of collections that were dispersed in this way are further caused by the fact that the maxim of distribution was not always obeyed. This contributed to the overall loss of memory, not only of dispossessed private collections, but also of the earlier provenance of artworks contained in those collections. 27 old master paintings from the collection of Robert Deutsch Matzelski were handed over to the Strassmer Gallery of Old Master in the year 1947. However, some old master paintings, as well as the preservation of the apartment as a whole, which prevented residential authorities from allocating a new tenant to the apartment. However, in the year 1949, the property of Erwin Weiss was sequestered and confiscated soon after. Fifteen old master paintings were given to the Strassmer Gallery in the year 1952. Although the collection of Erwin Weiss did not share the fate of most Jewish art collections that were musealized even during the war, the new post-war le legislation, which was based on the creation of new ownership practices that it discouraged private and encouraged state property, allowed Weiss collection to be distributed to various museum institutions as well. Despite discussions on the resolution of the legal question about the so-called storage of nationalized artworks taking place as 1945, it was over a decade later that a settlement was reached on what to do with those artworks that owners had abandoned during the occupation and that were stored in museums, galleries and other institutions. The National Secretariat for Legal Administration of the People's Republic of Croatia published an announcement on April 9, 1958. This announcement stated that, accordingly, 
if close relatives of the deceased or missing owner of the abandoned property have not started the inheritance process for which the deadline is one year, the objects in question will become national property, disabling any success from successfully starting an inheritance process in the future in order for those objects to be returned to them. Therefore, there is no impediment for museums and other institutions that have stored artworks abounded by their owners during the occupation to list those objects in their inventories as they have become national property. Only a small part of the almost endless sea of objects